Meanwhile, China is working on implementing a new class system. And to best understand it, let's start with what's happening in, in, in India. Many have complained about Aadhaar, the national unique identity that uses biometric details in a database of residents. The allegation is that Aadhaar breaches a citizen's privacy. But having a unique ID is nothing compared to what's happening in China. Now imagine a system that's the mother of all surveillance, a system that constantly monitors and evaluates you. You are under watch 24-7 and you are being graded for your behavior. China's social credit system is going to be a reality soon. Take a look. What you eat, what you buy, where you go. China is going a step ahead, tracking citizens' movements, behavior and actions on a daily basis. And Beijing is giving citizens scores based on that. But an interesting question is, how will China evaluate the good, the bad and the ugly? How will it rank its own citizens? For instance, citizens would earn a low rating for spreading false information, for causing trouble on a flight, for using expired tickets on public transport, obstructing footpaths with electric bikes, smoking on trains or for failing to pay social insurance and fines. But citizens can also earn good points by doing things such as charity works, separating and recycling rubbish, protecting the environment and donating blood. And the overall score is connected to citizens' identification card number, which will then be used to either reward or punish them. Chinese citizens who score low on the country's newly designed social ranking system will face unpleasant consequences. The country says it will first ban people with poor score from flights and trains, which means initially people with a low score on the social credit scale will be stopped from taking planes and trains for up to a year. China is now openly talking about the social credit system and travel restrictions, but trials have been taking place across China's provinces for quite some time, and under a pilot scheme, over 12 million people in the country have already been slapped with domestic travel bans for bad behavior. And the penalty doesn't end here. Citizens can also be blacklisted based on their trust score. And as we know that publishing the details of blacklisted citizens online is a common practice in China. But there is an upside to the system as well. There are rewards for those who comply by the social rules and norms and earn a good score. For instance, citizens with good social credit scores can enjoy free gym facilities, cheaper public transport and shorter wait times in hospitals. What else? Alibaba's car vending machine in China has announced it will give free test drives to people with good credit scores. The new rules of the social credit system will come into effect from May 1st, and the country will keep on revising them. China is planning to implement the social credit system fully by 2020. While the system might look promising, but the fear is that it could be used to push the government's agenda and to suppress dissent. We wonder what's next in China. Bureau Report. We are.